dozens of hours of richly informative shows. Martha, no! I wondered, what could we do with all of these tapes? So, Martha, any people breathing? <laughs> the very best solution throw it into the dump was to give these tapes to my daughter Alexis. Ah! Don't ever do that again. And her friend Jennifer. I'm used to dealing with people like you. To see what they can come up with. Oh. Do <laughs> you think your mom's gonna be mad at us? I hope so. <laughs> so this is exercising with the rock or the gym and the rock. Do you think it's rock climbing? No, I think it's The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Everybody knows The Rock. How did he get the name The Rock? Like, I have the answer to that, because he's You rock know his hard. name's Dwayne Johnson. He's hard like a rock. All the time? <laughs> All the time. That can be inconvenient. I think it can. Hmm. On the night before... Oh, my God, it is! I was totally right! Several really serious New Year's resolutions. He looks a little beefy to me. Well, he's meaty, but he's all muscle. I was going to learn how to do a handstand, and I was going to learn how to do a backbend from a standing position. Guess what? This is why you don't make New Year's resolutions. Oh, and she gave him up? Nine years later, she can't do either one. What can a six-foot, five-inch, 275-pound wrestler teach Martha Stewart? When I heard that... Teach Martha Stewart? When she talks about herself in the third person, and it freaks me out. I had to get him into the gym. So I really would like from you a few really good strengthening exercises so that I will be able to do my back bend and I will be able to do my handstand. Absolutely. The okay? Rock is going to help you do that. The Rock is going to help you do that. She's the Martha Stewart. He's the Rock. Yeah. Too light. Are they eight pounds? No, not at all. The Rock is going to help you, okay. the Martha Stewart, to lift your dumbbells. Thank you, The Rock, from the Martha Stewart. <laughs> work essentially the bicep. I want to start with the... Uh, Positions where the dumbbells are at the side. They're dressed for two different weather yeah. situations. She's for winter, he's for summer. She's for hiking. How much does weight training play in your schedule? And how important very is it? Significant part. How about that they're doing this in a important. kitchen? I know they're in the gym. Because there's a gym at the studio. That's sort of attached to a prop room or something. You look pretty good. Thank you. You too. <laughs> look at Martha flirting. Hey, The Rock. <laughs> hey, big boy. So now what else? Okay, we did our so rolls. Say, the rocks, how many should biceps I do? are getting tired, Martha. Oh, they, oh, they are not. <laughs> Can I touch your big muscles, you the rock? Yes. Martha Stewart wants to touch the rock's big muscles. And this is a very basic bicep workout. It would be sufficient enough for you. Okay, but then you have to do all the other muscles, too, in your arms, right? That's Once Martha idea. challenged me to a strength test of strength. You won. One weight for me. It was ridiculous. And the very next workout is the tricep kickback. Oh, this is the favorite exercise of all old ladies. Steady yourself. Arms to this position. Okay, kickback. so that's for back here? Exactly. It's for your tricep. Do you see Martha Ooh. touched him? It's pretty hard. <laughs> She's touching Look, him. Look, she said, I touched him and he's hard. She didn't comment on the tattoo, though. Try that. I guess I can. Should be just like that, right? Exactly. You want to kind of keep your elbow stationary and concentrate on contracting your tricep. Feel my tricep. How does it feel to you? Touch me, The Rock. Oh, please. The Rock says your tricep feels great. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. And again, I'm done. Basic workout that's her level of patience for this okay. kind of thing. Well, those are two little exercises. We have a lot more to do before I'm going to be doing my handstands. Can you do a handstand? What about when Martha gets all cute? She says, doing. Doing? Instead of doing. <laughs> handstand, no. Okay. And then she giggles. Uh, what about this eyebrow? Did you have to practice, or is that a natural thing? The eyebrow is, is uh, something that kind of evolved. Does it scare your opponents? Sure, the most electrifying eyebrow in North America. OK. <laughs> I can do the eyebrow, that right? Let me see. Quite impressive. Well, oh, I'm you know why I can't? I have Botox, Botox, so I can't. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I can't do it. Show the rock how to whip You can. You still got it. A little bit. Yeah, I don't. Cookies, would you be interested? See? That's Rock's favorite. How good Jimmy got here. Rock is impressed. Good. Thank you. Well, I'm happy to have you here. And, uh, so basically, to me, this was foreplay between the Martha Stewart He's and the not Rock. He's not even <laughs> remotely interested. He's not. But she is. Is she? Definitely. <laughs> And also in this book is my daughter Alexis's favorite curried egg salad. Curry? I would never eat it with curry. I don't even know how to eat curry. And I then she it. puts it in this book, and then people are like, oh, I love your egg salad with curry. And I'm like, I never put curry in I'm egg salad. And then they're like, curry. you're just not nice about your mother. <gasps> so it is brought to you by Crayola. Egg salad sandwiches. 
Yeah, but supposedly Alexis's egg salad sandwich. Oh, this is your egg salad sandwich. But already it's, it's wrong. It's not. I never it's not. curry powder in your egg dream salad. dream of it. And where's the cottage cheese? And what's There's with the all low the... fat cottage cheese. In your egg salad? Yeah, instead I of like, mayonnaise. I like pure egg salad. I like eggs with mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. Delicious. Well, that would be good. But... It's just simple. <laughs> Let's see what your mom does with your She's egg gonna salad She's going to screw it up. Recently, we published a book that really brings smiles to everyone's face. It's called Favorite Comfort Food. And everybody that we know has a favorite comfort food, whether it's macaroni and cheese, ice cream, or mashed potatoes. What's yours? I like ice cream and pasta and pizza. I like pasta. And also in this book is my daughter Alexis's favorite curried egg salad. She would curry? Eat while You're I such mean, a curry eater? I would never eat it with curry. I don't even know you eat curry. You're I not don't. a big curry eater. I don't. It's not eater. my thing. I and then get she it. puts it in this book, and then people are like, oh, I love your egg salad with curry. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I never put curry in I'm egg salad. And then they're like, curry. you're just not nice about your mother. <gasps> It has nothing to do with that. Right. You just don't eat curry. Alexis now oftentimes makes the same egg salad with a slight variation, eliminating all the yolks. So if you're um, in the should mood, I put some true. yolks in? I don't eliminate all the yolks. Should I have any yolks in it? A couple's good, right? Yeah, it should have some yolks. Maybe I'll put two yolks in the whole thing. And I like to chop up the egg salad either with an egg slicer like this. I never remember to use this. Me either. Ever. Me either. You can put the egg in that way. And then you can just turn it and cut it up the opposite. Oh, that's smart to turn and cut. Oh, interesting. That's cute. The whole I just go like this. To mash them? Yep. If you want to do no, it. No, thanks. Just, just the first, not with all the ingredients, just I'll the raw. I'll use a chopper this thing. No. That's good. Well, that's fine. Look, look at it. Egg salad. Doing a great chopper. job. I like this little chopper. It's a pastry cutter, but look how quickly it chops great. up. Great. The egg salad. So there we have it. Nice, coarse chop. And now you can use homemade mayonnaise if you like, or you can. You can use homemade mayo. Do you make a lot of homemade mayo? Never. It tastes disgusting. I like jarred mayonnaise. If you're on a diet, you can use the low-fat kind. Or cottage cheese in place of a lot of the mayonnaise. Some dried mustard. This is really important. What do you think about putting the mustard in, Alexis? I like the mustard a lot. Okay, so mayo and mustard? Yeah. Sprinkle it in. Powdered mustard? No. Uh-uh. All right, so I would do... But you have to chop this. None of that crap. And, of course, the curry powder. It no, is... not of course. Definitely without the curry powder. I don't have perfect chopping skills. Pretty spicy. So a little mayonnaise, a lot of mustard, pepper, and then, of course, very, very important is the chopped celery. This adds that crunch that is extremely important. I like a lot of celery. Yeah, it's crunchy. Why not? Oh, I wonder if I could do salad chopper for this too. So no. here is our. Doesn't really work. Shocking. <laughs> and. Cornichon. These are those delicious sour pickles. What do you think about the cornichon in it? Oh, I love the pickles in there. The more pickles, the better. But you the chopped pickles your have to be... celery much better than I did. The pickles have to be sliced, which is a big pain in the butt. Just coarsely chop the pickles. That's pickles. not how you do it. The pickles have to be sliced. What do you mean by sliced? Well, you, first of all, you can't use the ends. You have to eat these. You can't use those. Why? And it's just not right. So you have to slice it's them. Not thin. Right. You have to oh, slice please. them like this. They can't be chopped. It doesn't have the same mouth feel. You like the mouth feel. And pile on the egg salad. Very important is lots of egg salad in one of these sandwiches. Mm. We never had sandwiches at home, really. Really? Growing up? Only scrambled egg sandwiches on English muffins. That was it. That's not bad. No. But that was in place of a nutritional meal because no one felt like cooking. Do you think it's funny that your mother made up that you had a recipe? No, I don't think it's funny, actually. I think it's funny. I think I, she really, really thinks that's your recipe. She, she doesn't think. So. She doesn't care. I think she thinks so. No. And then with a good, sharp knife, slice your sandwich. All right. Yum. Mmm, it's pretty good. And cover this over. So whether you choose to make egg yolk egg salad or egg white egg salad, they're both what we call comfort food. You want to try it? Here. With a spatula? With a teaspoon? Go. I'm going to try mine. I don't want not yours. Offensive at all. I want mine. That's delicious. Yep. I would eat this for dinner. Totally. So good. Works? Mm. Ew! Look. Oh my god, 
you see your mother dribble? That just made me think of all the wrong images. Do you like puzzles? Well, I think this would surprise you, Alexis. Jigsaw there was, puzzles? There was a period of time, I think in my 20s, that I liked doing jigsaw puzzles. And then you'd laminate them, wouldn't you? No, God, no, never. But really? I, Did I, you use fancy wooden puzzles? Or any puzzles. There was a time when I got into it, and I would get them and do them, and then you put them away. I never save them. Well, I wouldn't if they're save nice, them. you save well, them. Well, they weren't fancy puzzles. Oh. They weren't like you bought your mom. A beautiful well, well, puzzle. The reason I bought her that fancy wooden puzzle yeah. was because when I was growing up, we had a, from a, a yard sale, sure. a cardboard box full of... They were called pastime brand puzzles, and they were wooden puzzles. Okay. And really, really hard, uh, and no picture. Oh no, that's just, just in white boxes. That's just silly. And you had no idea what it that's was. That's just be. ridiculous. They're fun. I think we completed one. They need to have a picture. You need to know a little bit about what you're trying to accomplish. It's about how hard it is. It also has. You have to have some reward. Anyway, we're going to see about. The reward collecting. is finishing the very difficult oh, puzzle. Oh, go away. Let's talk about. Collecting them, collecting puzzles. What if this has nothing to do with jigsaw puzzles? It's gonna have everything to do with the jigsaw puzzle. Well, it's a good thing that I took a close look See, at this. See, it doesn't. Before <laughs> I took a sip, because if I didn't, I would not have just picked it up like this and started to drink. Oh my <gasps> God. It's called a dribble glass, a puzzle vessel. It has a what? A, what? A it's a puzzle vessel. Inside. And you found the one of the openings. Yeah, one's there. And there's one. How about that? Your mother just spilled on herself intentionally. You know how angry she would be if you didn't tell her that that was going to happen. She would be furious. There's one other hole under the handle. Let's see, you have to hold that. Yes. Okay. Works. Mm. See? Gross. Yes. Ew! <laughs> solved it. Oh my God! Did you see your mother dribble? That just made me think of all the wrong images. We have one. Here. Ooh, now I'm soaking wet, Jerry. I'm sorry. Oh, God, she's wet! <laughs> this is Jerry's. <laughs> now we're so involved. And he is. Hold on. First, she drinks from him. Then she dribbles. Then she says she's soaking wet. And then she says, we're so involved. Where do you want me to go with that, we're Alexis? We're so involved? We're so involved. What does that mean? I don't know. We're greedy. And all of the liquid is siphoned out through a tube in there, through a <laughs> hole in the bottom. Oh, let's see And that. into this base. So, we're going to pour. Okay, what? What is this? So this isn't even about that puzzles at all. Vile. It looks like a penis. It looks like a penis emerging from a soup. There we and go. a stream is coming out of the penis What's soup. What's the point of this? I don't know. And Martha still has on the shirt with the wet spot. There, I did it again! Each of these shapes are to be made with the same oh, seven pieces. Fantastic. Just these. Oh. Those seven pieces. Here oh. <laughs> Mm. Ah. For example, the hint is the shape, and the shape is sort of an egg. Why sort of an egg when it looks exactly like an egg? She doesn't want to commit that that's what he wants. She to, might be to wrong. Say. What if she's wrong? The yeah. Oh, the chicken. The egg came first. <laughs> yes. Uh, in Japan. Look, she couldn't care less. He threw that chicken back in the egg. This is. Look, a it's a bowl of miso soup. Coffee cup, and there is a secret compartment inside the cup, and. Knowing that he she doesn't like these things because they're not pretty. You very gently stir the sugar cubes. I feel a and, magnet. Okay, now if you take the cup and the saucer and you turn the cup oh, and lift it up. Oh. <laughs> there you are. Wow. I mean, so what? Pins in here that are pulled up to open it and find the secret compartment. Terrific. Oh, Yep, she doesn't one. care. You have to disentangle things. You have to take two nails apart oh, of wire. Oh, these drive me crazy. She hates that one, too. <laughs> At the end of the last century, they started to make these in packages with groups of puzzles as puzzle parties. I have There's just a, a no big way. one. Oh, boy. Come to the puzzle party for lots of fun. We're going to put these handcuffs on you, children, and Come see on. if you can get out. Pieces. Why is he making such a racket when he knows how to do it? So simple. <laughs> so simple. Who wants to play she with She didn't nails? try. So She's done. She's over the puzzles. Finished. Yeah, by the way. So am I. Advertising puzzle. We brought one here, which is an. He just keeps going and going and going. He's like the Energizer He's Bunny. He's into it. Very She's not. into it. This is his favorite thing. And you see what appears to be the solution, it ends up with down. the riders being upside down. So, well, that's so Martha's not gonna good. no. Martha's gonna figure it out. That's it. You yes. solved it. <laughs> Congratulations. The Martha Stewart will always figure it out. These puzzles are different than you expect or that you're led to believe.
This, for example. Oh, no, Martha, don't touch that. Oh, a rabbit. rabbit. Look, heavy sigh. She's so she's over exhausted. it. She's exhausted. She furious. looks like she's going to fall asleep now. Way, becomes a, a duck. A duck. Why is she talking to him like he's a child? <laughs> this is a impossible puzzle. All the cards are in there. How do you get them out? Crack the glass? It is too big to go through the opening, and the key to the lock is inside. So the question is, how were all of these things put into this to make this an impossible? How? They put the bottle on the tree before the deck of cards grew. There's no card tree. You put them through the What? Top. What? You don't know about the card tree? No, what card tree? The box. <laughs> this is perhaps the most famous of that. Mm. It has a, a, an arrow through the Coca-Cola bottle, and the arrow is one piece of wood. What's the point? The bottle is one piece of glass. So he put it through and then whittled the arrow. Get that way. How is it made? I'll tell you how it's made. How could the bigger arrow, how did he whittle down the center after he put it through? You're terribly what? cold temperatures, maybe? <laughs> no, this is the only puzzle that I'm sworn to secrecy, and I can't oh, tell you, you the solution. A hurricane came and forced that arrow through the <laughs> Pushed it through. A tornado no. forced it right through the bottle. <laughs> sworn to secrecy. Right. She doesn't care. She didn't like that at all. No. Fools for April Fool's Day. Thank you. <sighs> <laughs> Are you tired? Yeah, too many puzzles. It's I like exhausting. just your basic puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, and that's enough for me. I don't need a cup that might spill all over me if I don't sip it just that's so. That's just rude. It is. <laughs> I sometimes fear strangers, but only sometimes. Yeah, yeah I don't want to run alone anywhere because I'm so slow. If somebody attacked me, I could never get away. I know that. Are you scared of anything? You know, I recently discovered that I'm not afraid of, but I do not like falling. The fe well, I can understand I that. I did like a little bungee thing and it was not fun for me. Oh, you did that to try to get over it? No, I, I didn't know that it would oh, really bother me and, and I it, hated it, bothered it. Got it. Well, the fear of flying I found incredibly inconvenient and debilitating. And I, I still have it, but I found Xanax. So now I can fly. But you're afraid of addiction. I am afraid of addiction, so... And really being only... out of control. Yes, so I've only used the Xanax to fly now. That's it, which is kind of what I try to do with all my fears. I try to confront them. What and else are you afraid move of? through them. Well, I was afraid of the subway. I've taken it since then, and I'm not afraid of it anymore, but I don't need it for m the way I travel. I didn't love the tunnel. I got rid I got over that. I don't love bridges. I'd be more afraid of the bridge than the tunnel. Bridges are freaking scary sometimes. Well, they actually fall. They I mean, fall. I don't like that whole thing. I sometimes fear strangers, but only sometimes. Do. Yeah, I don't want to run alone anywhere because I'm so slow. If somebody attacked me, I could never get away. I know that. But you, you're fearless? I'm not fearless, but I'm not, I don't... There aren't things that I fear particularly. Nothing really stands what out. What about emotional stuff? Well, that's so deep that I can't see it. Yeah, I think fear of intimacy is on some well, level. Well, I do have you. a little fear of people getting um, so friendly that they're actually going to call me on the phone. Right, you have a fear that's of... that's distressing to me. It's almost a fear of connecting or the responsibility of having to relate to people. The, no, the responsibility of needing to be nice to them. Wow. It's yeah, not, it doesn't I don't, sound good, does it? No, but I think also when I was single, I wasn't nearly as frightened. Really? Yes. And once I had children, my mortality started to matter to me because I felt like they were relying on my being here. So I got additionally afraid. They might be better off without you. You never, you know. Oh, Alexis. Stop it. They wouldn't be, there wouldn't be so many things to worry about. <laughs> 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 What's that? I'm trying to raise an eyebrow. Want to see me furl my brow? I can't furl my brow either. You can't, right? No, we can't do it because of Botox. <laughs> just you just look mean by just squinting. Yeah, you just have to change it up. <laughs>